So on to match day two then, on the back of a draw in their previous outing, a result which makes us none the wiser as to their prospects are going through. They'd want to go one better here to put themselves right in contention for a place in the top two, and their coach was very quick to point out in defending his players ahead of this game that the supporters need to be right on board with them. This place simply a monument to the game. So much prestige, so much pride, so much passion that ever football is played here. Fulham had a stuttering start, they'll need to do better now. Well, they've reached the crossroads, Peter, having drawn the opening game. Do they attempt to commit to three points here or prepare themselves to simply avoid defeat and look to making a, a bigger play for three points next time round? Whatever it's to be, I don't think they can afford to take uh, a loss now, so that defensive base really has to be mistake-free. the whistle Jim who do you reckon is pivotal yeah Saul his brilliant technical ability and eye of the needle passing can make a, a big difference to this team he's got a wonderful engine too and, and seems to always get himself involved in the thick of the action at both ends of the pitch I'm thinking the same he will be a central feature no doubt I'm more than happy to take the muscular approach And it's Asamoa. Oh, nice touch. Mario Götze played in deep. Towering header! Good delivery, no joy. No, that was a slick move, and there were several options in the box to, uh, to pick out. Dembele. And here's Diego Costa, Fulham have a free kick. Sambo Anguissa. Asamoah. Pavon. What an adventurous run from a defender. Saul did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. And helps available out wide. A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. Oh, that's neat. Quadro Asamoa goes for... Hurls himself at him! Goal! What a start, and what a contribution from the main man. I had a feeling he might do something given his reputation, but to do it like that, absolutely brilliant. I wasn't expecting that. Spectacular header. He really flung himself at that. He had a choice of trying to volley that and get his head to it, and I'm pleased to say he took the right option. That's a great goal. Fulham have an early lead. Good start. Looking crossfield, changing the point of attack. And here's Morata. 
And here's Trippier. Trippier plays a clever pass. Zambo Anguissa. And it's Correa. Saul. It's a loose ball. And here's Correa. And he's got the ball glued to his feet. Gets wrestled off the ball. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Matuidi. Fulham are already ahead. The perfect start. What a good start to the game. I think their play has been fast and inventive, and, and this is a fine example of early intent. They've begun as they mean to go on, and another goal is on the cards. Matuidi. Correa. And it's good, sir. Saul. Now it's Costa. Now it's Costa. Costa plays it out to the flank. Correa gets it into the middle. Now it's Matuidi. Uh, ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. There has been just the early goal here, and it's 1-0. Savage gets it forward. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Trippier, and here's Correa. Good challenge, he just stood firm. And that's the end of that, it all started well enough. Pavon looking to run onto it. Pavon going through. Pavon really just wasn't quick enough then. Well, his thinking certainly wasn't, didn't make use of what I felt were some very good options. He's got through. He's had a shot. It's there. And this is getting better and better. And that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out, never mind one. There was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. Fulham get themselves a two-goal cushion. 
Well, with this kind of authority, Peter, why not push on and, and totally kill this off? Across the field it goes. Back for a throw. Pavon. Some good stubborn defending there. Trippier, very firm in standing his ground there. It is a tough full contact contest. That'll be a throw. Saul, and here's Diego Costa. Mario Götze. Plays it long. And for a moment you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. Correa. Pavon. And no, that is pretty much the end of that. Dembele. And here's Diego Costa. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. Mario Götze. Pavon. He's gone for goal! Lacking in accuracy. Yeah, on another occasion, all that went wrong, make them right. Morata gets it out to the wing, gets away from his opponents. Correa. Defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Well, you could see he was eager to get a shot away, but there was too much flesh and bone in his path. Kepa sends that a long way. Mario Goetze. Plays it out to the wing. Look at the defender bombing forward. Good take by the keeper, he's read that well. <laughs> there is the half-time whistle. Any opinion you'd like to express in the first half? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why did they from here when they can repeat their first half success with a, another show of strength? Fulham ahead 2-0, and they are looking good. And if you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. And that's put paid to a promising move. Asamoah. Correa. Stefan Savic.
And it's Dembele. Dembele has been caught there, it's a foul. Correa. Now it's Morata. Good challenge, excellent challenge. Trippier. Diego Costa finds himself eased off the ball. And it's Goetze. Matuidi. Asamoah. Quadro Asamoah, who does have an assist to his name. Cuts it out. Away from immediate danger. Correa. Trippier. Stefan Savic. Correa. And it's played forward. It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Dembele. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Fulham with this handy-looking 2-0 lead. They are looking comfortable. Dembele looking to get on the end of this. Chance! Forward it goes. Mario Goetze. Asamoah. Quadro Asamoah plays it forward. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. The movement was good, but the pass lacked authority. Uh, a cause of mild frustration. Asamoah. Saul, he spotted the run and played him through. Morata. Yeah, he's offering an apology for that. He needed to deliver a better ball. Matuidi. Smalling. Umtiti. Asamoah. And once more, they can't get through. Smalling. And here's Goetze. Mario Goetze really got caught in a trap there, and he just couldn't get out. Correa. Correa's cross. Yeah, he's fouled him there. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Brian tries to clear. Dembele. Back into the middle. Get a throw in. And it's Saul. Well, it's a crossing feast here, but I'd advise them to keep a variety in their play to avoid being found out and stopped. Well, nobody's going to argue with that. Dembele. Uh, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Fulham making another change here. Kepa gets it upfield. 
loses his balance and loses the ball. Out towards the flank. Correa's cross. And a header! Oh, just needed a better contact. Well, being able to generate that amount of activity in the box means it's hard not to pick someone out. Brian. Brian goes looking. And he's made sure that that won't get through. That's a promising ball. Has a pop! Oh, it looked like 3 0 for sure. He'll be fuming with himself for not converting. He could have killed it off. And here's Correa. Gets the better of his man. He's made good progress from a deep position. Bakayoko. Well positioned to make that interception. He's found his man. Oh, he's found, goes for goal! No messing about, just bludgeoned away. A couple of changes then in quick succession. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Sambo and Gisa. Well, it did look promising to start with, but in the end they were thwarted before they could even make it into the final third. Oh, he's caught him there, it's a free kick. Pavon. Diego Costa really was well marshalled there because he was denied the opportunity to, to turn. And the shot! <laughs> and the lead is extended still further. Absolutely thundered in. Keeper, no chance. Yeah, I just thought he made great use of his upper body there. It would have taken something really special to keep that on. There's going to be another change here. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's, it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honest shift. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Out to the right. Brian tries to get it forward quickly. Seri. Trippier positions himself well and cuts it out. Just five minutes left. Stefan Savic. Saul. Trippier. Saul. Hoists it forward. Zambo Angisa. Seri. Pavon doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Stefan Savic. And he has been fouled there. And here's Correa. 
He's making good use of his strength there. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. Going for goal! It's off target and by quite a way. Official showing that there will be three minutes of added time. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. He could be in. Has a pop! Oh, extraordinary. Sambo and Gisa. He's got options out wide. There are a few waiting for it. It's gone for a throw-in. Foot in. Added time is up. And there goes the whistle. Fulham enjoy their perfect day. For their victims, it is entirely imperfect. Comprehensive winners of a one-sided contest. Your final thoughts, Jim? Well, tactically, they looked as if they got that spot on. I think when you push up at the back to the extent they did, then there must be a pressure on the ball ahead of things. Otherwise, your whole system is going to break down. And I think there was, there was a good discipline about what they did, really, in affecting that.